The Biden administration faces a deadline today to respond to legal challenges to the president's vaccine requirement for large private companies. And while the mandates have caused tensions all around the country, many Americans are celebrating today as after a year and a half, they are reunited with friends and family from abroad. The U.S. finally lifting pandemic border restrictions. NBC's Alice Barr has more. Good afternoon, Sheba and Jennifer. Loved ones who've been separated across oceans throughout the pandemic are reuniting today with proof of vaccination and a negative COVID test. That is the separation within this country grows deeper over vaccine mandates. Today, two sides to the drive to vaccinate America and the world against COVID-19. Star-spangled celebrations and joyful reunions in airports as fully vaccinated international travelers are once again able to visit the United States. We are really happy to see him here after six years. Contrast that with the heated pushback over vaccine mandates. The Biden administration forced to respond today to an appeals court decision temporarily blocking its vaccine or weekly testing requirement for private companies with 100 or more workers. If OSHA can tell people to wear a hard, hard hat on the job, right. to be, be careful on chemicals, it can put, put, put in place these simple measures to keep our workers safe. Florida is one of several Republican-led states challenging the mandate. No cop, no firefighter, no nurse, nobody should be losing their jobs because of these jabs. As some business owners protest. We feel that it's an overreach of OSHA to get it in between me and the employee. Others have already adopted vaccine requirements. We are about 21,000 uh, crew members or employees. Uh, we're down now to, I think, under 300 people who have told us they don't plan to get vaccinated. That is COVID vaccinations are picking up for a new pool of Americans, children age 5 to 11. First Lady Dr. Jill Biden visiting a school today in Virginia hosting a vaccine clinic. It was also the first school to administer the polio vaccine back in 1954. A nod to this country's long history of requiring vaccines.